I want to let's talk about Tinubu that pledges to alleviate Nigerian suffering. But okay. before I even read, <laughs> chief, why are you laughing? Before I read what is there, there's actually uh, the reason why I picked this. I don't really want to pick this topic that's still elevating poverty, but just coincidentally, the following day, I saw where uh, a market woman was really lamenting and it was trending online and she was lamenting the state of the country. And she spoke in Yoruba, so hopefully, if you don't understand Yoruba, by the time we watch it, I would you know kind of explain. This is a woman, uh, woman lamenting about the state of the country before we talk about Stinubu who said it's going to elevate <laughs> <that poor. laughs> oh my word <laughs> i wanted to say i'm also lamentation <laughs> and you caught me right there it's actually it's a sad one because everybody's lamenting and you saw chief Gordy actually saying something that before he can take us out definitely he's going to have to wait till the fuel comes out so he's in in that kind of lamenting also oh, on the, I, mean, I, 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 I am not indirectly i am directly lamenting, lamenting. Uh, so uh, yes that's uh, what i'm going to do you see people uh, are just skyrocketing uh, every every day no so you yeah. see uh it's it, it, the chalk talk is cheap mm. when you hear this talk of i i i feel your pain hmm. I will make things better. We are in the period of labor. When the baby comes out, they will smile. You see, when pregnancy is over 10, 10, 9 months, the mother begins to figure, the, the, the father begins to panic. That is the problem. When Normally, uh, biologically, the pregnancy is nine months, right? Mm -hmm. It's get to nine, eleven months. Yeah. There is panic in the home because it's no longer normal. Normal. So no matter how much you have faith in God, no matter how physicians keep placating you, mm. you're going to be panic. Mm. This panic button will be will set in. Mm. So that's where we are right now. Then Mr. President does not even need to tell us that he's going to make things better. But he to begin to make things better. Hmm. People are tired of hearing it. Nobody is going to take Mr. President very serious anymore for saying it. You can't say you are going to make things better when people are buying the truth. A mother is going to bring a uh, Gary from Ushubu to Lagos. He's buying people at 900. 929 and 15 other per liter, and you're expecting to come and sell paint, paint bucket for 1000 naira. It's not going to do that, even if we got the you got the, the cassava and the dairy at a cheaper rate in Oshobo. Mm. Going to bring it to Lagos at a cheaper rate because the transportation has eaten it into whatever it is going to make. So nobody is going to hear that. You have just improved. You have just approved the increment of a uh, uh, minimum wage, seventy thousand dollar. Is it not? Mm -hmm. yeah, minimum wage seventy thousand dollar. Well, whatever has happened has eroded all that money that you think have given to people. Mm -hmm. And to workers, to, to workers, and, to, to workers. <laughs> and don't also forget that some states over 28 percent, 28 states government have not approved it yet, just yet. So they have not even set the committee. You supposed not to even set the committee who have approved. It's only those who have started pay before the federal government uh, woke up yes, yes. to want to pay. So you know that. Whatever promises that you are making is falling on deaf ears. Hmm. Not worrying anymore. You are talking to yourself, Mr. President. You are talking to yourself. So coming and say that oh, you are going to make life better, you are going to do no, nobody wants to hear that anymore. We are not hearing it. Hmm. Begin to make it happen. We need to see that how how in a country that fair cues has become normal. How? Something that used to happen whenever we declare strike. It used to happen whenever they say the government has increased pump price. Mm. That's why you see Q. Now, the Q has become normal in Nigeria. 
everybody you go to work so some foundations have become parking garages many people are parking their cars there nobody selling fuel anymore people are unable to move workers are unable to go to work organizations have, have completely rationed their working hours people are some organizations are doing two day two days in a week because they cannot afford to pay more for staff to come eight for five days. So productivity is completely mm -hmm. so why what are you doing in all of this? So it it is time to talk, time for campaign, time for electionary is gone. Chief governance, Mr. President, we want to see it. Mm. As one of your support, see it. Mm. I am beginning to panic. The school is about to resume. The farm school uniform bags we have bought all of them. There's no money. We are not talking about school fees. Hmm. So all you're going to see more out of home, school uh, school children. School children. Hmm. Out of school children. Hmm. At the end of the day, you shouldn't be hearing Mr. President saying, "I will. I have." It's what we want to hear. I have. Is what we want to hear. That people must should be able to relate with I have. Hmm. He actually said this. He actually said this at the graduation ceremony of uh, course uh, thirty-two, and he said that um, he stated that his administration has made significant strides in addressing some challenges encountered by the citizens. So, what are the challenges? I think, I think um, we of course, the president right now. Because you know we are public affairs from the state, but we we actually follow our friends in the country mm -hmm. very closely. Mm -hmm. And um, aside from the minimum wage, uh, which came over a year after people had already been suffering and has not been paid and has not been implemented <laughs> by the way, will not be implemented for another couple of months. Mm -hmm. Aside from that, can the president tell us what exactly he has done to alleviate the suffering he caused? I just want to know it. You know, so is it the bags of rice that we share? that will not amount to one cup per person, even if you share to the poorest of the poor across the country, you will not amount to more than one cup. You know, those things are really, we call it a pin in, a, in an ocean. It's completely inconsequential. Um, is it the lifting of duties on imported food that has still not been implemented? You know, how exactly is the uh, president alleviating the suffering he's causing? Is it the CNG? project that till now we're only seeing one station one station there is one station in Agiding. i think it's the only one in lagos if i'm not mistaken hmm. right there is about one or two stations um cng stations states across the country hmm. so is it the cng conversion or you price know, of gas or, 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 or price, price of, of gas, gas that, has gone up, <laughs> that has actually gone up significantly in the last two months how exactly is the president alleviating or planning to alleviate the suffering he is causing it's important that we continue to let them know that this thing is caused by your policy failures, mm. by your failure to consider the implications of the action that you're about to take. Mm. You know, you are coming into office, and on the first day, I've never seen that kind of thing mm. before in my life. Right. I'm very old. Okay, I'm not very old. <laughs> <laughs> old enough. You have seen it as many as I, no, 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 no. You, you are old enough to know that That's the time it. that we have lived on this earth is more than the time that we are going to live again. I don't know about that. I am. <laughs> I am. So now the point is, <laughs> we point is, point is a lot of yes, now. Yes, now. that on the first day, day in office without consulting experts, you make very weighty policy decisions, right? So the only thing that the president can do, I've said it before, and I'm going to keep saying it, he must restore subsidies. That's the only solution. You can never, you, you can't um, use palliatives to resolve this issue. It won't work. Mm -hmm. It's the money that you need to spend. To make a significant impact with palliatives will be more than the subsidy that you are paying. Yeah. <laughs> so it won't work. The only thing you can do is to restore subsidies. I am willing to concede. I am willing. I don't know about others. I know these people don't even agree with what I'm saying. I'm willing to concede that okay, don't restore subsidies into petroleum products. But you must subsidize something mm -hmm. because of the poverty place. I have suggested subsidize food directly and subsidize transportation directly. How? Work with farmer cooperatives, um, uh, market unions, transportation associations and unions, NRTW, and provide direct subsidy payments into their accounts in exchange 
for them capping the price of transportation at a certain level are capping the price of different Thank specific yeah. targeted food items mm -hmm. at a certain level. Mm -hmm. Lagos government are doing something like that with the uh, the Sunday market. Yeah. Yeah. They are providing 25% subsidies. So the government can provide 50, 60, whatever percent subsidies across the entire country. And it's not going to be difficult because there's technology. If the government doesn't do this type of thing, sorry, we are just going to continue to suffer until eventually, maybe 10, 20, 15 years from now, when some benefits begin to show, if they ever show at all. Because mm -hmm. if there was going to be any benefit in terms of infrastructure spend that can generate prosperity, that will save people from the hardship, <laughs> you will be seeing it already. Mm -hmm. Whether it's investment in road, rail, and um, uh, healthcare, education, whatever you want to call it, you'll be seeing it. Where is it? So for me, the president is just talking. Like Chief said, the time for talk is past. We see outside of the box thinking, mm. where you are deliberately sitting and looking at the problem in the face and providing Solution. very innovative, locally produced solution. Mm. This IMF work rubbish has got to stop. No country in the world ever broken free from third world to first or even to middle mm. has ever followed the MF plate. Just go and check it. No! Singapore, all of the Asian tigers, nobody follow MF plate. They will tell them, keep quiet. Mm. And they will do their thing. Yeah, I think. You know, mm. so so I think the president needs to stop all this uh, talk and, mm. and uh, respect Nigeria. Okay. Well, so for me, maybe the president uh, may not want to listen to grammarians. <laughs> but it's better I should go in the street palace. Uh, Mr. President, on that day, sweet to. Is that way? No, it's not. Is it? It's me. I always said that. I think it's okay. Because it's after that, if you that was the one that you want, let's call it a play now. The thing there is this. The thing there is this. No, people are hungry, seriously. Even all the. Um, all the heads that uh, I still believe one thing today. If by 6 p.m. today, emergency national shots, even with the press release, that now, so far, NPCL is the sole importer of the control to the country, and will be paying for shortfalls, it had been paying for the same subsidy that has gone. That means still available. What we are going to do now? What can bring all this price together? That can bring it down. Now we discover that a lot of it can even use this Dangote refinery as a tool. What is it going to do? Dangote will sit down. Look, you are not going to sell to my people beyond so 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 amount. I will document it. Let it be for Nigeria. All oh, the poor price four hundred naira. Implication of what it means is this: the Danfoss, the Moldwest, the BRTs, interstates, they must come down. What it means is that those who are grinding uh, pepper will come down. Barbers, they will come down. So we will not want to fail electricity now. If that one has come down, if you can do that, but all these palliative. You will pay more for that palliative and you will not sow anything out of it. Mm -hmm. Because what it there is that there are some certain hippopotamus, kleptomanias, gone to steal, that are waiting just to say, you are throwing your palliative and you are going to be the middle men and middle women. Throw it when it comes like it, they will stiff it. Mm -hmm. It's the little that will go to the little they want it to go, the little one. You will discover that, you know, at times I want to see that the president said, will really we are seeing this. We are not seeing anything on the street. That is kind of all those hippopotamus and leptomania. Don't let it go through them. You, you remove uh, the subsidy. Let's okay. Let's say okay now. For now, we are giving subsidy. Four hundred naira flat. Any filling session. I don't want to know one is whatever. Whatever is going to do to push the effect for independent marketers. Do it. Four hundred anywhere you go. Four hundred. You will discover. Because of people are making sure that price will never come down. You will flat it for anywhere. You understand now? This we know is where the people that use this. Although that is the effect of this that we don't know. Do you know the effect of it? Every organization, big organization that are using this, right? Mm. And they are producing products. Mm. And they will sell it to these the same people. Mm. Whatever they, they get at the cost is what they are going to sell back. Yeah. So automatically. If the price of home price that affects everybody cannot come down, I'm telling you.
thing we are talking about. Another thing again is that no, me I'm looking at this year. Our fun, our our farmers. Now they cannot till the ground. They can't do all this for the next year. What are you going to eat next year? Because they can't do anything, and it's going before you know it. In the next two three months, now yeah. they they rent this. Yeah. Mm. So what are we going to eat next year? You know that there are a lot of things they are importing now. You don't know. From Benin, probably they are importing Gary to Nigeria. Huh. Ah, yes, now. Now, if the Republic and Ghana are not gaining from us in terms of food, and we have this kind of land, go to the Bangladesh best way. All those bushes, what are we using it for? It is important, Mr. President. Those people around you, they have disconnected themselves from us. Oh. Don't, don't mind them, but oh. we are telling you the truth. On the street, people are hungry. They are very, very hungry. How can you describe a family man that have two kids? begging you for 1,000 naira. What is he going to use it to buy? Huh. Or somebody call you in the middle of the night, Sir, do you believe in the last two days I've no eating? And you know there's a way you get a cry of a baby. That you know this baby is crying. It's uh, crying for food. Uh -huh. In the middle of the night. A lot of Nigerians, and there are no people that are not working. See what's happening? As you see them, there are no one that is crying also. Apart from all these, uh, the people they can export around, the uh, salary can take them home. Please. Do something, Mr. President. Hmm. Uh, uh, I, I want to okay, respond a, a little bit to what Mr. Shokwiton said. You see, you can't subsist what you don't have control over. Yeah. All right? In the, you see, subsidy, there is no government in the world that does not pro to yeah. provide subsidy. What is a subsidy? It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's some amount of money yeah. given to these people to keep the price at a particular so that you will know how to reach your people. Mm -hmm. All right? And we know we are running a petrol economy, whether you like it or not. Yes. Some people are in middle of enjoying 24 or 20 hours. I see not. At best, I have it, um, it 13 12 hours yeah. per day. Yeah, also, we are closer to per day. Yeah. I am. <laughs> so, <laughs> let us, let us, let Mr. President, don't go to where that's the same day we are talking about. You wake up on the inauguration day, OCD yeah, gone. gone. People clap, people rejoice. At least somebody has political ways to remove subsidy. You didn't measure the consequences that will come with that statement. And in the, in the same country that in the same country that when we make a marginal increment on the pump price, everyone go on strike. The, the, the labor call for strike. Uh, the price of commodities skyrocketed in the market. Just marginal increment on pump price. Now you can imagine what you did. By removing what so called subsidy. And I'm asking myself, who is subsidizing what? You have made an MPC, a government agency, to not fail a loan. Sole importer. Sole importer. Why don't you give me subsidy? I said, going to go to. Unlike in the time of Jonathan, that you ask a lot of people buy import fuel and you pay subsidy. And you say some people will be import and take in Cameroon and still come and collect subsidy. I don't understand. <laughs> Turkey subsidize bread. Yes, no. So Turkey, you are subsidize egg. Yeah, that's and food. <laughs> no, that food to their own. They don't plant food that they host. So what do you subsidize in Nigeria? That's an importation. I produce. I provide my water. My water. Okay, yeah, water factory. No, I have a uh, bowl. No, 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 no. Yes, I have my. I have not seen <laughs> any of water since I left Nigeria. In no, 2005. Even the water you are not in I used to see it in 2005. No, I was in. No, 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 there are I, I, if I, in hours, I be yeah. 13 hours away. The rest, I provide life for myself. Mm. So at the end of the day, what has government given me? When the, one of the functions of government is to welfare, mm. what has it given me? Okay, please I hope the president has heard. Uh, all the analysts this is a this is a cry for help and i'm sure by the time we watch that video you also caught me was about to say i am lamentation myself mm -hmm. because everybody is lamenting something needs to be done and please Are listen you? ah With this <laughs> Please, at this point, I'm just going to wrap up the show. Before I wrap up the show, 
I'm going to give a big birthday shout out to Cecilia Anita Tony, aka CC Eko. Happy birthday to you, more life and good health. And this is coming from Kalista, your mm. very own sister. She's wishing you a happy birthday. And from all of us at Galaxy TV, we are wishing you a happy birthday. Thank you so much, Mr. Nerudin, for coming. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Shopito. Thank you so much. I may not come late again. I have to find a way to fill my tank. Okay. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Thank you viewers for watching. My name is Rose Blossom. Until tomorrow, we'll talk about lifestyle and relationship. Do enjoy your day and please try to always be healthy and happy. Bye for now.